Hi, Tim Alden here with Alden School of Leather Trade and Alden Leather Supply. Today we're going to show you how to stitch a round leather hat patch. So one thing on this patch, we got a little bit of burn residue here, and this is pretty common when you're doing laser work on leather. You can take a pink eraser and most of the time you can get that burn residue off. So just kind of that one spot, clean that up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and put a little Neats Foot Oil on this. I feel like the hat patches, especially on this thin leather, this is four or five ounce Herman Oak, and it seems to dry out a little bit when you laser it. We don't want to put too much oil on this, otherwise it'll bleed onto our hats. But we're just going to give it a little coat to condition it and it'll also darken this patch up a little bit and really make that lettering pop. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and let that dry a bit and then we're gonna come back with our half inch double-sided basting tape from Springfield Leather. They seem to have the stickiest tape that I've purchased. I've bought some off of Amazon and it just doesn't seem to have the holding power that this stuff does. So we'll go ahead and let this dry a little bit We'll come back and stick it down to our hat and go over to the sewing machine and stitch it up. Alrighty, so as you can see, it's dark out. We waited a long time for this oil to dry. Actually, it's just late in the evening and the sun's going down pretty quick. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to coat this entirely in double-sided tape. I'm just going to leave these big because I want it right out to the edge. I find it easier to just leave it hang out to the sides and then just roll around with your rotary cutter. Okay. Grab this guy. So we're just going to go ahead and pull this off of here. Exacto. Okay, so once we got all that paper off, you want to come up about three-eighths of an inch because there's a seam in here where the bill comes in and it just creates bulk and it's hard to stitch over that. And so you can mark center on these. You can just eyeball it. Stick that down. We're ready to sew. Okay. So we got our hat patch stuck on here and we want to open this up here and then you want to make sure and you hold this sweat band out of the way. We're just gonna start in the center at the base here. And sometimes it's handy for beginners. If you have your laser person, just laser a light line where you want your stitch to go. It's something that you can follow. This one doesn't have a border on it, but uh, that is something that can be helpful for beginners. Or if you wanna have an interior line and then you can just keep your stitch length in between the outside and that border line 
can be helpful as well. So we're going to cut this right in the middle. So our walking foot on the outside. So this round hat patch, it's a little more difficult because it just doesn't have as much surface area as our rectangle patches do. But as long as you get your needle set, you hold your threads for a couple of stitches. We got our sweatband pulled up out of the way. We're just gonna get this going slow. And then once we've stitched a couple of stitches, we can let go of those threads and focus on keeping our hat patch where it belongs. Main thing is just keeping things flat going into the machine. Now we're coming back in towards this sweatband. Trim that off, keep it out of the way. Just keep the same distance rolling in. Sink our needle in the same hole that we started in. We're just going to stitch over about three or four stitches. Back the needle up, pull our thread here, and pull our hat out. As you can see, everything looks good on the back side. Everything looks good on the front side. Make sure our thread's pulled down good. Snip this off at about an eighth of an inch. These in the back. We're not going to burn these on the inside just because the nylon, everything wants to catch on fire. But we will burn that little tab on the front side. That way that thread doesn't want to come out. You want to make sure it's an eighth of an inch or under. That way you don't create this big plastic plug when you burn that. It just looks a lot cleaner if you have a nice short um, tab to burn. So thanks for stopping by. Hope this helped you with stitching round hat patches on or relieve you of some fears. If you haven't done it before, it's really not that big of a deal. Main thing is, is to get your hat patch on there square and hold it in place while you stitch around there. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.